Welcome to the first short video in a series of 18 short videos giving tips for environmentalists on what not to say. How to avoid turning people off so you can share something of value that will help them make a change. I promised myself I would make each of the 18 lessons available on video so they're easier for you to share because my One Million Minds vision requires it, frankly. I can't reach one million people just blogging. So if you like the videos or know of an environmentalist you want to see more successful, share, share away. At the end of this month, the video series will end and anyone signed up for the email list on my blog will receive a PDF version of my ebook, EcoFluence Pro, for free. The website is www.eco-fluence.com. And don't worry, a link to this uh, blog is in the video description. Now for lesson one, arguing. So in the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, Dale Carnegie, the most recognized author on the topic of influence, says don't criticize, condemn, or complain. The only way you can get the best of an argument is to avoid it. When you are talking to someone and they feel attacked, whether that's physically or verbally, they have two responses, fight or flight. Basic psychology. You may choose your words carefully or try to be subtle, but if you argue or counter someone's point, you will produce the same chemical response in their brain as if they're being confronted by, say, a mugger. In Influence, The Science of Persuasion, another great book, Robert Cialdini, the most copied expert in the field, says human beings have developed social survival skills over thousands of years. We do not want to be seen as wrong, mistaken, silly, misguided, incorrect, or any of those other terms that sounds like it's eroding the trust that we have as members of a community. So if you choose to argue with someone or don't choose and end up just reacting and arguing, which I often do, um, have to catch myself. Number one, they can become defensive and stubborn in their position to save face in front of friends and community members like anyone would. Or two, they will lose face in front of the community and end up resenting you for it, no matter how good your points were. So influence is not about you being right, it's about you being helpful and being a contribution in that moment to other people and ultimately to the planet. So here are some examples of what not to say. Let's just agree to disagree because they hear, I think you're wrong and you're too stupid to realize it or some other version of that. You may pull back and say, whoa, where did you hear that load of garbage or whatever and give them the the assumption that you uh, obviously don't believe what they're saying or to say like um I don't think that's true in fact I happen to know that the opposite is true and insert long counter argument um, which produces the same results we talked about before a conscious response by an environmentalist who wants to make an impact on someone's life and influence them positively in that moment um, is to start by asking yourself a question. Can you practice validating others' opinions even if those opinions contradict your own opinions or are at odds with your commitments in life? When you hear something you don't agree with, you can just listen. Ask questions, ask questions, ask questions to understand their position. Then just repeat it back to them. Make sure you understand and then practice empathy. Ask yourself, is it more important right now for me to be right or to have a positive impact on this person's life? And it's your opportunity in that moment to learn what stage of influence they are by what they respond with when you ask them those questions. Are they in stage one, contempt, stage two, curiosity, or stage three, commitment? And those are three stages that we go into in a lot more detail in the ebook. Um, sign up on the email list if you'd like that. I can't cover it all here, otherwise it wouldn't be a short video series. Um, so that's it, lesson one, short and sweet, and I will provide lesson two momentarily. Have a wonderful night.